Outlander was always synonymous with Claire and Jamie Fraser, but season 4 centered around the love story of Brianna Fraser and Roger McKenzie. However, one character who has always been integral to the plot, whether of the OG couple or the new couple, is Lord John Grand without him, Outlander would not have its essence. Now that we are building up to the finale, Grey's importance in the time-traveling series is more important than ever. Not only because he is the stepfather to Jamie's son Willie, but because he is now engaged to Brianna, who is awaiting her lover's return. I should probably want you till the day I die, Grey had told Jamie in season 3. Even though Grey's love was rejected by Jamie, everything Grey has done or is doing is born out of love for Jamie. Outlander fans, even those who met him for the first time, especially in season 4, will not double guess if he loves Jamie Fraser. Brianna could easily guess and so could Claire, so could the fans, so could first-time viewers. In season 4, the English diplomat has appeared in three episodes so far, the first time being a surprise visit to Fraser's Ridge along with his stepson William in the episode titled Blood of My Blood. Thanks to that episode, fans have such powerful moments to look back to when season 4 comes to an end this Sunday. The powerful confrontation between Claire and Grey addressing their mutual jealousy as well as respect was one of the most empowering scenes this season. Tended by Claire while fighting measles Grey wins Claire's respect when he shares the main purpose of his visit was because he felt approximately nothing when his wife died, so coming to Jamie was a test. After Grey left along with William, fans were not sure if they would see the handsome British lord again, but he returned right at the point he was needed most when Aunt Jocasta wanted Brianna to find the suitor, since it's kind of blasphemous to be a single mother in the 18th century. Aunt Jocasta, who met her granddaughter and knows nothing about her time-traveling story believes Bree's lover is dead, but then again, so does Brianna, that is why the episode If Not For Hope, gave us hope of Brianna and Roger's reunion. Had Roger opted to time travel after escaping from the Mohawks and gone to the 1970s? He would be as good as dead since Brianna would be in the 18th century with a child, who may or may not be Rogers. They would never meet again. But Roger stayed back all for love. And Brianna, the quick-witted maiden was quick to dodge Aunt Jocasta's intention without hurting her by choosing to marry Lord John Grey. Smart move. She knew Grey was in love with her father and she also witnessed Grey having sex with one of her suitors. Brianna's approach to that was not necessarily her best since she chose to threaten Grey into marriage, which she knew is temporary. Grey subtly rejected the offer, but he eventually changed his mind, because Grey is just the hero who deserves a cape and that wouldn't be too weird right? Bri wears capes too. In last Sunday's episode when Brianna confronted her rapist Stephen Bonnet, Grey's role in it was of paramount importance. He informed her of his death sentence and when she told him to take her to see Bonnet, he understood and was by her side throughout. Grey dedicated to protecting Brianna, even if that is not being said. We first met Grey in season 2 when he was just 16 years old and attempted to kill Jamie because he thought he was the notorious Highlander who had captured Claire against her will. Jamie had the upper hand in killing the boy but refrained and spared his life. Then, in season 3, Gray appeared as the new governor of Ardsmere Prison, where Jamie found himself locked up. They became really good friends and Gray fell in love with Jamie. While their revelation nearly ruined their friendship, yet their bond triumphed and Gray went on to be the stepfather of Jamie's son. Played by the Australian actor, David Barry, Lord John Gray is the undercover hero who actually deserves a show of his own. Diana Gabaldone the author of the Outlander book series penned five novellas and three novels focused on the character and fans agree he qualifies as a man to have his own eponymous series. We look forward to that.